You mean to tell me that Avatar, The Way of Water, is three hours long? What if I get bored? What if I need to stretch my legs? What if I have to pee? To some people, watching a three-hour movie is a painful experience. But as it turns out, there's actually no upper limit to how long you can make a movie. And while, realistically, you're going to have to take these kinds of movies in multiple sittings because the length is long enough for you to dehydrate to death, it is interesting to look at these obscenely long movies that evidently exist, and to question whether they deserve their length, or if it's just some ego project stretched out to 500 hours so it seems notable. Satan Tango is a movie that most people only know about because of its exceptional runtime. Whenever people bring it up, they usually mention the fact that it's seven and a half hours long. That, and the scene where the girl poisons her cat. You basically have to dedicate an entire day of your life to watch this movie, which is what the director intended. But it's all paced very deliberately, and stuff is actually happening throughout the entire film, so I'd say that it's earned its runtime. Going forward, many of the longest movies are documentaries. Which makes sense, as documentaries are generally less expensive to produce than actual movies. Stuff like OJ, Made in America, Shoah, and Dead Souls rank around the 7-8 to eight hours category. But How Yukon Move the Mountains tallies up to a whopping 12 hours, 43 minutes, which is very long. It's about the last years of the Cultural Revolution, with the spotlight placed on rural workers inhabiting their new collectivist society. Out One is just 12 minutes longer, but is a very different kind of a movie. It's a French mystery film from 1971, and its story is convoluted to say the least. Just look at the size of the Wikipedia plot synopsis. And the IMDb summary for it says, Following the May 1968 civil unrest in France, a deaf mute and a con artist simultaneously stumble upon the remnants of a secret society. Longer still is Resin, a Swedish documentary about different people's perceptions of nuclear weapons. Clocking in at 14 hours 33 minutes, it's the longest documentary officially listed by Wikipedia. You can actually find the whole thing on YouTube, and it ends with some bong children talking about how nuclear weapons are bad or something. Seems like a bit of a letdown to me. Wikipedia's longest narrative film is Amra Ekta Cinema Banapo, or simply The Innocents. It was shot over the course of nine years, and lasts a towering 21 hours and five minutes. That's about the length of a flight from Sydney to London. The movie portrays filmmakers struggling in the wake of the immensely destructive Bangladesh Liberation War. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a very long movie right here, but in the grand scheme of things, 21 hours just isn't that impressive. When we leave the comfortable grasp of Wikipedia and head into the dark, perverse depths of IMDb, it quickly becomes apparent that experimental films can eclipse this kind of length again and again and again. As an example, take the longest and most meaningless movie in the world. There isn't actually any movie, it's just random footage spliced together to eventually reach 48 hours. In a similar vein, the much more well-known Cure for Insomnia reaches 87 hours in length, and it's just random garbage again. There's a movie called Beijing, which is just a car driving around in Beijing for 150 hours. But is that really as impressive as Modern Times Forever, a movie showing the gradual decay of the Stora Enzo headquarters? Check it out if you have 10 days to spare. Better yet, watch Ambiance, which is three times as long and about even less. It's just really slow, looping footage again and again. The movie most cited as being the longest ever comes next. Logistics, a movie about the creation of a pedometer in reverse chronological order, lasts 857 hours, which is a very long time for a movie. To watch this, you'd need 35 consecutive days, or the approximate lifespan of one book lice. IMDb has two longer films in their repertoire. Searching for America, parts 1 and 2, supposedly goes on for 905 hours, although there's very little information provided on the movie. The IMDb trivia page talks about it with an ambiguous tone. It's inspired by a Steven Spielberg short, and is rumored to feature a montage that celebrates public figures who've achieved the American dream. It's directed by a guy named Connor Charles, who doesn't have much info, outside a sandwich shop in California being named after him. The other movie is simply titled 100, and has even less to go off of. Its rudimentary cover art boasts about being 991 oars long. With just 35 ratings, the only information we know is the fact that the quote-unquote movie shares the same writer as another absurdly long, obscure IMDb relic. QW, a film that reaches a mere 167 hours, has similar cover art. But this movie actually has a description. Random scribbles in long length prove that just about anything can be called art. 
And I'd say that that's a pretty fitting note to end the video on. And as for the question in the title, it's either going to be Logistics or 100. Although I'm not entirely sure if 100 is an actual movie or just a shitpost. 